These are structures on the inferior aspect of the brain. Let's actually look again at the infundibulum or the stalk of the pituitary gland. And then off to each side you see these little red pegs. These represent the internal uh, carotid arteries. Let's get into the cranial nerves. Cranial nerves are uh, typically labeled uh, 1 through 12 and they are actually labeled in Roman numerals. So you need to know the Roman numeral. You also need to know the nerve name and you'll need to know its function. Uh, we typically use the uh, mnemonic on Old Olympus towering tops a thin and German viewed some hawks H-A-W-K-S so let's go over each letter our first O is number one that's the olfactory nerve this is actually the olfactory track going to a little knob on the end which is the olfactory bulb um, the olfactory nerve itself is really in the nasal passage, but we're going to call this number one olfactory for the sense of smell. Then we see a little stub of a nerve coming out here. This is number two. This is the optic nerve, which of course is going to go to the eye and provide our sense of vision. And the optic nerve is going to cross over. The right and left optic nerves are going to create an X where they cross over and go to the opposite side of the brain. And that X is called the optic chiasm. Then number three actually would be if we removed this little X, we actually would see it kind of underneath coming out, but we don't see it well on this. Finally, we see four. We do see four. And cranial nerve number four is the trochlear nerve. The trochlear nerve controls uh, muscle of the eye. So it's actually not involved in vision of the eye, but movement of the eyeball. There's cranial nerve number five below that. We see number five right here. And then tr cranial nerve number five is the trigeminal nerve. The trigeminal nerve uh, actually um, helps the face, goes to the nerves of the face. Then we have number six, cranial nerve number six. We see it a little bit lower here. So if we go along the, again, the pons, we see the pons and the medulla here of the brain stem. Down from five, we're going to go kind of straight down to number six. Number six is the abducens. Again, this is another one that's used for eye movement. And then we're going to go lateral for the next two. Let's actually go to the other side because we'll go six, seven, and eight. So here's number seven. Cranial nerve number seven is the facial nerve. Facial nerve uh, is obviously innervating parts of the face. And then number eight, all the way over on the end here, writing right next to number seven, is the auditory nerve. Auditory is for hearing. Cranial nerve number nine, if we come up here on the top, we see cranial nerve number nine, uh, just lateral to the medulla. Number nine is the glossopharyngeal nerve. Then we have below that, we have cranial nerve number 10, which is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is very important because the vagus nerve is going to help control um, heart rate and rhythm. It helps control uh, rate and rhythm of breathing and also intestinal motion. So this control a lot of uh, internal organs, basically. And then finally, we have cranial nerve number... 12 sticking up right on top of the medulla here and cranial nerve number 12 is the hypoglossal nerve and this is going to help control parts of the tongue and the throat.